We're out of time crunch. Left me out here to freeze. I'm trying to sit in the sun. Orders is all decorated for Christmas, look. I knew it looked weird. I was like, I'm not judging someone's work in progress. It was a work in progress. This is not acceptable for my brain. You can't walk in here at all. It is just a disaster. dilemma because we still have the u-haul we have to return the u-haul today from yesterday picking up the vanity buffet for the vanity um but we still have it and they're supposed to be delivering our plumbing today but i don't know what time so it, we are experiencing higher than normal call volume at this time but i don't want to leave it at the house because you know people i don't know you have hear horror stories about people getting all of their like stuff stolen and stuff and I just want to have it in time for our plumbing because the holidays are coming up. So I'm one of my dad was like, you still have the U-Haul. It might make sense to just go ahead and load all of that stuff in the U-Haul instead of him having to unload some of the trailer. Okay, after being on hold for 45 minutes, they said when uh, Mondays are crazy, 45 minutes. I thought our plumbing, we changed, we were, okay. We were supposed to get our plumbing, everything like faucets, toilets, tubs, blah, 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 blah. So we were supposed to get it last week. And then I, I was like, no, 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 let's reschedule it. And we rescheduled it like over the Thanksgiving holiday or something. And I rescheduled it for today, but I didn't actually know if they put it today. They were just gonna get me into a date that they had available. It's actually coming tomorrow. So stay tuned. And we're gonna be delivering it not to the house, to a secure location. Probably gonna sleep in my tub so that no one takes it kind of thing. That's good. So now we were on hold for so long. We have to return the U-Haul by one and it's 12, 20 and we're starving. So I'm gonna uh, get a little cuter. We're gonna go return the U-Haul and then go to Warner's to eat and then pick up paint. We have to pick up paint. It's a little too windy to paint today, I think, but we may be able to, which is fun. So we'll do some look like, renovation things today. Oh, it's cold. <gasps> Babe, it's cold. What? It's so cold. It was like hot for like a week. Oh my gosh, okay. We have to, hi baby dog. Hi Brody. Hi baby, look at this baby. Oh, oh, it's cold. Okay, we gotta take this out. Hey, come here. Brody. right now oh and we need gas shoot okay got gas let's return this puppy shall we Whew. enter tap to enter mileage is there anything we should fix no no braking problems no overheat no 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 take two photos <laughs> okay gotta do some things Romeo went to the post office and it was on the other side of Fredericksburg and he's left me out here to freeze. I'm trying to sit in the sun. So I'm sunbathing. And I already dropped the keys in the drop box, otherwise I'd sit inside the U-Haul. <sighs> oh, it was so cold. I was trying to sit in the sun. Um, I'm hungry. I got stuck in Fredericksburg. Uh, traffic in town. Ooh. Oh yeah, if you came down Main Street, yeah, it's a lot of traffic, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and order some paint so we can pick it up because the paint place is here. Uh, we can't pass by that paint place, Coronado. Across from the thrift store? <gasps> yeah. Are we going thrift shopping? I guess so. I think I just need a gallon of each. I have another gallon of black. Yeah. 
Hi, can I get um, some paint mixed up to come pick it up? Yes, of course. Um, so I need a gallon of the Fresh Start High Hiding Primer, uh -huh. tinted in the gray for dark paint. Okay. And also a gallon of the Regal Exterior in black. And it's in my file if, I don't know the number of the black, but uh, you guys have it on file for me. Okay, okay. I'll get it together for you. Thank you so much. We're gonna go eat lunch, so I'll come after. All right, sounds thank good. Okay, thank you, bye. bye. They're so nice. No paint stores like do that, but they do that for me. Ornus is all decorated for Christmas. Look, look above. Can you see up there? <laughs> so you do you do want the same pizza? Because I'm actually I'm a creature of habit, so I've never tried anything else. Ooh, the watermelon iced tea. Thank you. And we get the house special salad. <sighs> I'm full now. It's like sunny, so it's warm in the sun, but the wind blows and it's so cold. The um, couple that I got the vanity from that we picked up yesterday sent me a picture of another piece of furniture that they have that's a little longer. I, you know, you never know. I did fall in love with that one, but it's not like we can't use it for something else or just things. It's worth looking at for sure. And the top are so cute and unique. It could totally be used as a, another table. Oh my God, that could be the entryway. I wonder if it's too deep. Oh my God, so many, so many things are like swirling in my brain. Now we're picking up the paint. I did, yeah. I see it already. We just got back to the house. So I think we have a few hours to work down at the house. I feel like it's dark. <laughs> just keep making meaningful progress. We got the paint, so that's huge. I don't think I wanna bust out the paint sprayer. The only bad thing about paint sprayers is the cleanup. You know, it's like a lot of cleanup to make sure that you can still use your paint sprayer next time. Um, but we can definitely prep a whole bunch of stuff ready to paint kind of like tomorrow and just like finish them all, you know? So we're back here, it's so cold. I'm gonna change, not in wearing good clothes, I'm gonna change and wear something warm, probably my beanie or something so that we can work down there. But I wanna take a second to thank our sponsor for today's video, which is Function of Beauty. If you have watched any of the vlogs or follow me on Instagram, you know I've used Function of Beauty for over two years now. All of their products, shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, serum, and hair masks all of it and i never liked to wear my hair just air dried and down and just jump out of the shower let it air dry and go and i love to now i never use heat on my hair rarely sometimes i'll do a straightening iron but not not very often i never use a, i don't own a blow dryer except for the one for kinsley and what i like most about function of beauty products is that it's completely customized to my hair type and goals because all of our hair is so unique the products that we use should also be customized to do the best things for our hair all you do is take a simple quiz on function of beauty's website to create a custom formula so my hair is wavy medium and I have a normal type of scalp and my goals are always to deep condition strengthen hydrate shine and anti-frizz you can even customize the color and the scent every month so this month I got peach and mandarin in the lavender color and I love it I've been very into lavender lately and they even say function of McKenna directly on the bottles their products are all dermatologist tested and made with safe products that have no parabens no sulfates and they're 100% vegan and cruelty free and they're delivered straight to your door on whatever schedule works best for you it's now easier than ever to try out function of beauty's a signature hair duo so definitely try out function of beauty for yourself and use my link in the description box to get 50 percent off your first custom formula of function of beauty and that's for both us and canadian customers so love them i'm gonna change really fast probably just in some like pink cl type clothes <laughs> it is definitely cold so a sweater is necessary i've been wearing my hair up so much and it's gotten so long that I've been kind of trying not to wear it in a tight, tight ponytail. So kind of like when I have to wear a beanie because then I can just braid it off to the side and then it's a lot looser and a lot healthier for my hair. Is your dad sleeping? Is he snoring? Tell him we have to go to work. 
Okay, so we just drove up in the house. It looks like they came back. The guys that did the foundation for the porch, they came back and replaced them. I knew it looked weird. I was like, I'm not judging someone's work in progress. It was a work in progress. Look. Now we have all of these little blocks. You see those? So that makes a lot more sense now. <laughs> oh yeah, and they put the bigger blocks deeper into the ground. Oh wow, they really did. They were not done. Cool. Well, that's exciting. Okay. I didn't even know. Maybe they came back yesterday? We weren't here, so. Okay, so I brought, you guys remember, I got another pack of these larger lifts. I wanna see what they look like. I feel like they're too big. What do you think about the, these are the lifts that I bought? I just, I feel like my first impression was that they were too big. I don't know, what do you guys think? I feel like they're a little big. So one of the things I desperately want to do is organize. Do you know how many times I go and look for a tool in one of these boxes and I can't find anything. I bought these, this whole thing to organize all of my tools and then I keep putting everything in this big bin and I can't find anything. Look at this. This is not acceptable for my brain. This is bad. This is all not great, but better. Just all oh, needs to be organized. So I'm gonna take everything out and group it take all of these apart so I can see hammers, drills, goodness look at all this stuff this was all in both of those i haven't even cleaned out this yet i probably should get rid of this this is empty Okay, much better. Like, I feel like we'll be able to find stuff. So these are all larger tools that will lock up. So we got saws, nail guns, sanders, a level, anything like larger and they're chargers. So we'll be in here. Cause this is like the hardest to find anything smaller than big tools like this. And then in the top one, I have nails for the nail gun. Uh, window glazing stuff like little bitty packs of things. I've got scrapers and putty knives in here and some smaller things like sharpies that I need access to and pencils and then paint openers like this and then masks, gloves, little towels if we need to wipe something down with and then all my glasses have gone missing but they go here and wood glue. And then these are like for random little screws that I find. And then in the second one, we have this little top tray that I have screwdrivers, bigger scrapers, and a little L scrapers, a wrench that I left out in the rain and it rusted, and more knives. That stuff. And then you can pick this up and go to the bottom. Sandpaper all down this way, all of our gloves, all the tape and some more sanding blocks. I have another measuring tape somewhere that I'm gonna put here and then some spray paint. And this is soon, we're gonna use this, this window and door foam. And then in here we have hammers, little um, clamps if I'm cutting something will go here. And then liquid nails, window glazing, um, caulking and knee pads, some random stuff. So that can all fit in there. Back here you guys is the exact same unorganized mess all over again well there's the heat gun oh my gosh see i i look for things and i can't find them but then i'm not looking for it anymore and i find it and it's like right in front of my face this is where all of the windows were but obviously we've been clearing them out we've been getting them back into the house it's a mess you can't walk in here at all it is just a disaster now that a lot of stuff is out of here obviously it's gonna be a lot easier to organize 
but like, oh my gosh. Ah! See, I didn't end up hurting myself. So all the weights for the windows we're gonna be using soon. So I'm gonna put all of those in the front. I've kind of been hiding this mess from you guys. <laughs> sealed for the guest bedroom windows um, even though that's not going to be directly where it's going to rain it's going to be underneath the porch the back porch but it'll still be a cute detail we, we have it we'll use it put everything back here so we can assess which trim pieces are acceptable these actually look really good and which are not and then group them by type so this is window trim this is the decorative inside trim so this one like this goes over there <laughs> Inside trim. This oh, actually looks pretty good. It's a different kind of trim. Window sill. Put up here. Some of this trim, I don't even remember where it was to. Oh my gosh, already can walk better. My camera battery died. So I was letting it charge. Look how much space there is already. That is crazy. I made me a little paint station so I can access them because I always have to climb, climb back there somehow. Figure out what's happening here. I don't know, I think it's flooring that I moved out trying to get better pieces, things that have fallen. I just need to, I need to figure this out right now. Oh my gosh, I can't see anymore. <laughs> so much better than it was. It actually feels like a large workshop now instead of something I can't even fit the wheelbarrow in at night. Oh my goodness. No, everything was just unorganized. I didn't get rid of anything except for a few pieces right here. That much. Everything else is still in there. I feel accomplished. You know when you feel really accomplished, you just want to figure out something else to do? But in about 10 minutes, I'm not going to be able to see at all here. <laughs> yes! We made it back home. I showered. We were such in a rush because I was on hold for so long this morning. We were such in a rush to get the vanity out of the U-Haul. We just put it. <laughs> we put it behind my dad's trailer. Well, it might rain tonight. Great for us. So we're going to move it into the garage. Did you know that I drew you in the window of our Vlogmas intro? I drew your little fuzzy little fuzzy little head popping up in the window. Is that what you're gonna do when we really have that? I think you can reach it. Are you so excited to move in eventually? <laughs> I'm so happy you guys like the intro. It was so much, I mean, I, I love watching it like over and over and over again. So cute, I really wanted something really cute and special for Vlogmas this year. I mean, I've never done it before, so I wanted to like, I wanted to do it right. Also, I've been reading all of you guys' sweet comments. I'm so happy that you're loving Vlogmas so far. And some of you guys are saying like, don't burn yourself out. We love the videos, but don't burn yourself out. I'm good. I mean, it is a lot, of, it is a lot of work. It's a lot of editing, but this is what I do every day. <laughs> We're always doing it, right babe? He's like, yeah. We're always doing something, going somewhere, finding something, renovating something, cleaning up something. I like to be busy and I like to, I have a lot to do. I think I make a lot of work for myself, but it's how we're getting this house renovated and 
um, it makes me so happy. So when you're doing something that you love and that makes you happy, it's like really easy to keep going and want to wake up every day and do it. And so I've kind of got a really good routine down uh, with Vlogmas. So I'm eliminating the, the burnout kind of thing. I know I love to edit in the morning. So I kind of spend the nights prepping my footage and stuff from the day. And then it, I'll wake up in the morning and finish up the like editing portions. But like while I'm filming, I'm already directing the video and like, thinking about how it's going to play out and how it the how the scenes are going to be all like set up and stuff. I'm having a lot of fun and I love Christmas time so it's just really special to get to spend it with you guys. I'm already sitting here. I have to I have to organize all of the footage that I shot today and I actually would like to get a head start on editing that because we have kind of a busy day tomorrow. We've got plumbing coming tomorrow, babe. I also want to paint the rest of the windows. Uh, I want to get started painting them black. You guys by popular demand actually want to see me paint them black for the main channel video. So I may put some clips from t from tomorrow in this upcoming renovation video for Saturday. I don't know what else, what other projects or what I need to figure that out. Like what our big major project is going to be for the renovation video this Sunday. But tomorrow for sure I want to finish the windows. So Romeo got them all like taped off today while I was organizing everything. Um, so they're ready to go and they're ready to, the rest of them can be primed and then we can paint them all black. So that's really exciting. Maybe I can even put some in where the siding is. Oh no, I wanted to paint the house first. Ugh. Oh, I have to call about the siding tomorrow. So yeah, tomorrow's a big day. I'm really hoping the siding is, is ready tomorrow. That would be really exciting. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you again tomorrow for another Vlogmas. Right, Kinsley? Are you gonna say bye to them? She's so sweet. Say bye to the vlog. Say bye to everybody. Say bye right here, look. Everyone wants to see you. Look at this. Come <laughs> <laughs> bye, Mama.